I've owned more Ranger boats than anybody. I've been working with them for almost 50 years. And this is the finest Ranger boat I've ever set my shiny hiney in. And it's a lot of changes that are taking place. And I want to talk about those changes. One, and there's a lot of controversy about forward facing sonar. Everybody is, that's old school, they don't like forward facing sonar. Well, I'm going to tell everybody, technology is something you're going to have to deal with. And we all, old people don't like change, but it's a part of life. Change is a big part of life. So we have forward facing sonar. I got Mega Lock, Mega Live, 360. All of that takes power from my battery. I've got a, I've got a 12 inch Solix, and I've got a 13 inch Apex on the front. I monitor Mega Live. I monitor uh, split screen, a lot of times 2D sonar in my map. Then I come back here, and I've got a 15 inch Solix on the console. I have blowers when it's a rainy day that circulate air inside of my rod lockers to keep my rods dry, to keep whatever equipment I put in those lockers dry so it circulates air. I've got two aerated live wells. I also have a H2O bubbler. All of that takes power. I have bilge pumps. All of that takes power. I've got lights in every compartment on this boat. When I open a lid, I have lights. I have lights in my live well. All of that takes power. So things are changing. Technology is taking over with all the new crazy electronics and development. To keep up with the times, man, I was sold in the beginning when I found out they weighed one third of a lead acid battery and offered the same output as my lead acid battery. Maybe even a little more, 100 amp hours actually gives me a little more than uh, my group 31 uh, lead acid batteries that were deep cycle for my trolling motor. So. I'm sold on lithium batteries. Now, which lithium battery do I need? I went to Red Crest Major League Fishing Championship in Charlotte, North Carolina this year. I ran lithium batteries last year and I had a very good experience. But my philosophy in life has always been 99 is not a good number if 100 is achievable. So I set out, I had two hours to kill, I set out to go look at every lithium battery on display. And there must have been 20 of them, 20 different competitors out there with lithium batteries. I talked to everybody in every booth that I had time. I don't know how many, I probably talked to 10 or 11. Tell me what you know. Tell me why your lithium battery is better than the next guy. Tell me what the makeup. Every one of them said, oh, we, we use the top quality, uh, uh, parts and pieces and we make a battery. Well, when I got the Pro Guide, they said each one of our batteries, every cell is built within its own chamber. You can beat it, you can break it, you can run across the Great Lakes and you can pound and you can beat. Every one of our cells are in its own individual chamber. You can beat it, you can break it. I said, I get that. I get that real quick. That, that clicked with me. I said, aha, we used to run race cars. And race cars on a rough track, you'd, you'd just tear a battery down. I mean, we had to replace our batteries often. If you could have compartmentalized your sails, put each one in its own compartment, man, you could have saved all that. We could have run batteries over. I get it. I said, God, that's really brilliant. So they started telling me about the Pro Guide. I love the fact, if you look at this battery, I've got this battery sitting in the center. You see the little blue cap and right beside of it you see a negative. Right beside of that you see a little black cap. That is three negative hookups. 
So if I've got multiple setups, I've got plenty of room to separate my wiring where it doesn't set on top of each other. I love that. That's simple, but that is really, really smart, and I like that. So what I have here is I have five lithium batteries. Because if it is raining and my bilge pump's running, and I am running all my aerators and my fans inside of my rod compartments, if I am running all my electronics, if I am using my computer in my boat, if I am running live wells, aerators, fans, all my units, then I got plenty of power with a backup battery. Do I need that battery? I don't know. I haven't needed it yet, but I have it. But you couldn't do that with a lead acid battery because you couldn't afford to put another 100 pounds in that boat. I only put a fraction of that, maybe a third. So it's achievable because of lithium batteries. So why did I go with ProGuide? They answered every question I had. I love the idea that they've taken those cells and put them in their own chamber. They've been in business for over 40 years. Now catch this. Not one company that I talked to that's building these lithium batteries at Redcast have been in business for 40 years. These guys at ProGuide have been distributors. They've been at every level of, ba of battery marketing and manufacturing in the whole country, and they're in Missouri. They're an American company. They're right here. 40 years. So what good is a 10-year warranty? These batteries have a 10-year warranty. What good is a 10-year warranty if the company's not in business 10 years from now? Well, if you've been in business for over 40 years, I got a good idea you're going to be in business 10 years from now. So I felt good about making a purchase from ProGuide. I have been tickled to death with these batteries. They're great looking batteries. They got a 10 year warranty, I've already mentioned that. But what sold me, uh, these guys are devoted to building the very best battery that they can build. They have all the answers, any questions you may have. They build a battery that I think I can depend on and I know they've been in business for over 40 years. And we can sit here and talk about all the specifics, but the fact of the matter is the times have changed. Lead acid batteries are out, lithium batteries are in. Now, what's the company that you have confidence going? I had confidence in going to ProGuide, and I'm gonna tell you, so far, it's been a wonderful relationship. So check them out. They're great looking batteries. They perform like a dream. And did I mention to you that they charge in just a fraction of the time that a lead acid battery it takes to charge them? So when you have those late, late days and nights and you don't get your batteries plugged in till midnight and you're gonna get up at four, they're charged. Incredible, it's, it's a game changer. So you need lithium batteries and if you want the best, try ProGuide, I think you'll love them.